Now we come to the yummiest of all, of all the bed covers. This is one of them. Hello everyone, welcome to Zoe Home Inspired Living. I'm Rina. In today's video, I'm featuring um, Zoe Home new bedding collection. One of the things that I sell on my online store, Zoe Home, are um, bedding sets or beddings like quilts, bed covers, duvet sets, and of course pillows. Um, these are not brand new bedding sets, but like just like Rachel Ashwell's Shabby Chic, they are um, very good to like new condition and they are like Shabby Chic style, but they are really still very lovely to use. And they usually come from the United Kingdom and the United States. As I had mentioned before, um, I loved watching Rachel Ashwell's Shabby Chic on cable in the early 90s. Actually, I have um, coffee table books of hers and I think I have sold the other two. And this one, Shabby Chic, is generally the her home decor book, but there was also about beddings. And I think I already sold it. So I'm inspired by her, her style. And so this um, bedding collection that um, I'm going to feature uh, are not brand new, but still very lovely, as I had mentioned. Um, like this one, this is quilt. Okay, so it's like um, one of my favorites also is um, Laura Ashley beddings. All my beddings are Laura Ashley, almost all. And this one is a quilt, reversible quilt. And look how, how yummy it is. So Rachel Ashwell used to say yummy. And this one also is a comforter, okay? And it's also reversible. And this one is a duvet cover. I am going to feature each one of them on the bed. Since they are not brand new, sometimes the set is not complete. Sometimes it's only the bed cover without the pillowcases. So um, in this collection, um, I'm going to complete uh, a set, the, a few of the sets. Uh, by sewing, by repurposing um, curtains into pillowcases to complete the bedding set. This is just a small bedding collection, but I still ha have a lot. Um, I'm going to prepare also another segment, which is Victorian or cottage core a theme of beddings so i hope that you will enjoy this video i have new arrivals of beddings and some tablecloths um beddings like bed covers quilts duvet covers and pillowcases are one of the best sellers of my online store zoe home uh, so today we have new arrivals uh, bags upon bags from mostly from uh, the United Kingdom and USA and we are going to unpack them all wow 
I like the embroidery in this. These are um, uh, table cloth, it's small table cloths, and there's a pair as well. Oh my gosh, if you can see the, the very exquisite embroidery, it's so pretty. Let's make it fast. This is a white lace table cloth, which is a favorite in my store. This, this is what I'm excited about. One of the things I'm excited about. This is a Victorian brocade um, curtains, but going to repurpose them into a tablecloth and also um, maybe pillowcases wow this is so exquisite look look at the design it's self damask and it's very thick i like it this came from the uk and it's very thick this one here is a cotton bed cover um i'm going to do a video on beddings and how to make the bed or decorate the bed with uh, the way covers and uh, pillowcase pillows um different sizes of pillows and different themes like victorian or classic or elegant and more curtains wow i like this I like the the color. Oh, wow. This is a bedding set with a pair of pillowcases, um, floral with lace, and a duvet, matching duvet. And a pair of pillowcases with crochet accent. Okay, so what's this? Oh my. Yeah, I think this is a duvet cover. Um, it's like silk with purple flowers. It's so elegant. This is also another pretty duvet. It's thick cotton with hydrangeas. This is a lace tablecloth. It's a bestseller in my online store. Now we come to the yummiest of all, of all the bed covers. This is one of them. I just love pink florals uh, in beddings or in pillowcases, uh, pillows. Wow, this is just wow. It has ruffles, corded. And the flowers. And this is a comforter. That is so very thick. And it's it has large pink florals. Ah, uh, we are down to the last two. And this is another pretty quilt. I just love the print of this. It's pink roses hot pink roses and it's a bed cover quilt so pretty so this is a quilted bed cover with Baba, may hindi mo nakot mom nandiyan you're screaming at your viewers with crochet I am tired so this is crochet accent and applique this is the same fabric that I used in making the pillows for my living room update in a previous video. Actually, the original set was composed of four panels of curtains and a duvet cover. So I used the two panels for the pillows in my living room update. And since the duvet cover doesn't come with its own pillows, I'm going to repurpose the remaining two panels of the curtains into pillowcases for the duvet cover. This design is the same thing. It came with four panels of curtains and a, a bed cover with ruffles. I used the two panels to make a long tablecloth 
and since the bed cover doesn't have its own pillows i'm going to make a pair of pillowcases with ruffles to match the design of the bed cover design number one is pillowcase with ruffles all around and we're going to be needing four pieces um, for the front for the back and for the ruffles all right so it's all clear here the ruffles i advise that it should be um double-sided because this is um all around it's outside so if you have finished 3.5 inch width um, that should be seven inches when laid out when you fold it in half for it to be double-sided then it's 3.5 inches so you'll be needing seven inches total um it's an envelope style of opening because i don't want to mess up with the zipper it's like this this is the front one the front panel and this is the back panel it's overlap like this and then i'm just going to pin it's a double-sided ruffles i'm just going to gather the stitches and then after that i'm going to show you how i sew it all around the pillow towards the end the two ends are going to meet and I'm just going to leave them hanging like this and I will use French seam to close this up later on you will see I start stitching at the tip of the ruffles but uh, about one half inch away from it so that later on we can connect it to the other end using a French seam. This is very thick. stitched all around this pillow and we are at the end the two ends of this ruffles need to be stitched together so we are going to the front side front and these are the two ends and we are just going to make a French seam so that it will be very clean We are going to trim off so that when we stitch it on the other side it wait so again this is the front of the pillow and the stitch is here now if i'm going to stitch it here on the other side covering that raw edge there then it will be very clean Stop. we're going to stitch again to cover that raw edge on the other side So this is at the back and this and then this is the front and now we are going inside again to stitch this close for design number two pillowcase 
with ruffles on either end, you are going to need three pieces, one for the whole case, which is folded in half, so there's just one seam, and then two pieces for the ruffles. So if you're making a pillow, which is 20 by 30, when laid out, that will become 30 by 40, all right? When it's folded in half, it will become 20 by 30. So if it is 40 laid out, the ruffles should be 40 times 1.5 or times 2 in length for the ruffles. This is for the ruffles and it's three inches in width and it's double sided although it's not really necessary because the other side is, ex is not exposed unlike the other design of the pillowcase. And design number three is a pillowcase with flap all around. It's just so simple. Um, you need three pieces, the front and the back. And then you just have to stitch it all around about 2.5 inches to 3 inches from the edge for the flap allowance. So if you're making a 20 by 30 pillowcase, you'll just have to add... 2.5 to 3 inches for the flap allowance and also the seam allowance which is um, 0.5 to 0.75 on all sides so these are my pieces for the pillowcase with flap this is the back and this is the overlap envelope style now I'm going to sew all around this and then sew the flap. Thank you. 
So this is the gray quilted bed cover that I wanted to complete with a pair of two pillowcases which I repurposed from a flat sheet and this is that pair that I made with two pleated ruffles on either end. They all match together and look good together, don't you think so? Although these um, blue florals with gray accent pillowcases also match the gray bed cover. This is the floral bed cover with ruffles, which I wanted to pair with the repurposed pillowcases from curtain of the same print and fabric. So I was able to make one queen size pillowcase with ruffles all around and a lumbar pillow with the same design. This is a pink quilted comforter or bed cover, silky, which arrived with the haul and which I matched and paired with this pair of king size pillowcases, which are also floral in magenta color. And I think that they look good together as well. Sadly, I wasn't able to make a pair of pillowcases that will match this beautiful bed cover, but I hope to be able to make one before it is even sold.
So this is that duvet cover which I made a, a pair of pillowcases for. Um, it is silk damask and it's really elegant. Uh, I really like it. And these are the pillowcases which I repurposed from a curtain of the same fabric as the duvet cover and with the flap design okay so which I sewed and showed you also how I made it This beautiful floral comforter I paired with a pair of embroidered pillowcases. Um, these pillowcases are embroidered with hydrangea, pink hydrangea, so they perfectly match. For me personally, I want a bedroom featuring um, beddings that are really pleasing to my eyes like florals and the pretty colors, muted colors or vibrant colors, whatever is your fancy. Um, ever since when I was still single um, in my apartment, I really loved to do the, the bed with um beautiful beddings complete set not you know not just um a pillowcase or just a cover without without matching anything i hope that i have inspired you to create your personal space using not 
too expensive beddings, but um, you can uh, always thrift, uh, buy from online stores that offer these um, items that are not brand new and not expensive as well, like my store, Zoe Home. Thank you for watching and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to never miss a post. See you on next video.